I can see it in your eyes. You've seen the land of the gods and returned. Does this mean it is done? Is Alduin truly defeated? At last, it is over. Perhaps it was all worth it in the end. You've shown yourself mighty, both in voice and deed. In order to defeat Alduin, you have gained mastery of dreadful weapons. Now it is up to you to decide what to do with your power and skill. Will you be a hero whose name is remembered in song throughout the ages? Or will your name be a curse to future generations? Or will you merely fade from history, unremembered? Let the way of the voice be your guide. The path of wisdom will be clear to you. Breath and focus, Dragonborn. Your future lies before you. There's one more thing we know about Parthenax. That's fine. We needed his help. Now we don't. And it's long past time for him to pay for his crimes. And he's not just any dragon. He was the right hand of Alduin. He committed atrocities so infamous they are still remembered thousands of years later. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continued to help you. We heard the news from Whiterun that you left the city on the back of a dragon. That's a little showy, even for you. Since you're still alive, I assume you have good news to report. Gods above, that's better news than I had hoped. When you walked into my inn that day, I never imagined where it would all lead. Dragons out of legend. Sovngarde. It's done. Just as the prophecy said, I knew you could do it. I believed in you, and yet, I still didn't think I'd live to see this day. Thank you. Thank you, Dragonborn. You've done a great service for us all. There's still the matter of Parthenax. I'm not ungrateful for what you've done. Esbern speaks for both of us. But our oath as blades binds us. Parthenax must die. There's no excuse now that Alderman is dead. I'm afraid she's right. I'm deeply sorry that this has to come between us. But just as Parthenax's later deeds do not expiate his crimes, your deeds do not allow us to ignore our duty. I hope you will return to us soon. Use that justice has finally been done, with both Alduin and Parthenax dead, 
dark chapter in history will finally be closed. In the top level. Give it quickly. Extraordinary. I see it now. The ceiling structure interlocks in the tiniest fractals. Dwemer blood can loose the hooks, but none alive remain to bear it. A panoply of their brethren could gather to form a facsimile. A trick. Something they did not anticipate. No, not even them. The blood of Altmer, Bosmer, Dunmer, Falmer, and Orsimer. The elves still living provide the key. Bear you hence this extractor. It will drink the fresh blood of elves. Come when its set is complete. The box contains the heart, ah, the essence of a god. I have devoted my life to the Elder Scrolls, but their knowledge is a passing awareness when compared to the encompassing mind of divinity. The Dwemer were the last to touch it. It was thought to have been destroyed by the Nerevereen, but my lord told me otherwise. The Daedric Prince of the Unknown, Hermaeus Mora. I thought there were no secrets left to know until I first spoke to him. He asks a price to work his will. A few murders, some dissent spread, a plague or two for the secrets I can endure. In time, he brought me here to the box. But he won't reveal how to open it. Maddening! Come closer, bask in my presence. I am Hermaeus Mora. I am the guardian of the unseen, a knower of the unknown. I have been watching you, mortal. Most impressive. Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. When that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. What say you? Be warned. Many have thought as you do. I have broken them all. You shall not evade me forever.
right behind you. How can I serve you, my Thane? You lead, I'll follow. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Yeah, well, I don't know what you... Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in. We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Thank you so, so much for taking care of those the thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. What are you doing that for? I've got your back. How can I serve you, my Thane?
You lead, I'll follow. <laughs> you and me. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Till next time. When the top level was built, I can almost hear them. I feel their life energy. Come, I will make the mixture.
What is this? It's... it's just a book. I can see. The world beyond burns in my mind. It's marvelous. an illusion. Whether you acknowledge me or not is your own business, but I will be in your mind. Now, you have my Agma Infinium. It contains the knowledge of the ages, as revealed to Xarxes, my loyal servant. For hundreds of years, it's been shut away from the world. Septimus was a useful tool for unleashing it. Now, it is in your hands. Let us work wonders together. <laughs> 